Hello, due to popular demand today I will show how to install the PFSense analytics package I put together to enable you to collect some some metrics from your firewall uh, into Elasticsearch and um, make some dashboards with it with Grafana. Um, first, I assume you have a freshly installed Ubuntu server, Debian Buster should work as well. Um, I tested with Ubuntu 18.04. So I got a fresh machine up and running. You can use a VM or a bare metal machine. Uh, and we make an SSH session uh, onto this machine. Okay, we log into the instructions and follow it and install some prerequisites we will need. This is Docker and Git. Now we will clone the GitHub repo and go to the directory. Um, this is a special thing for Elasticsearch, we have to raise some system limits to el allow Elasticsearch to run. To make it permanent, um, we make an entry to etc.ctl.conf and add this value in any position. Doesn't matter. Okay. We have to make one or two adjustments to the docker compose file first we want the URL we will use later on to connect um, to the Greylock server in my case I called my VM PF analytics And you may want to change the password secret as well. This is a hash Greylock uses to encrypt passwords for users you create within Greylock. Um, you should definitely change this. Okay. Let's grab the uh, current GeoIP database. Let's extract it. Here you gotta take care and adjust. Yeah, this probably won't work. We have to use we have to use the current version. I think the file is generated once a day, and so the subdirectory name changes. And if we want to make a symlink, a correct one. Uh, we have to refer to the correct directory where the file resides. It must be local here, but you can change it uh, in the compose file as you want. Then it's time to spin the whole stack up. This can take a little time depending on your internet connection. Okay, now we check if the containers are running. Probably they will take um, about a minute to be responsive. see what's running or what's going on in the container with uh, docker logs
It's initializing the first time. That takes a little moment. Okay, now it's running. Let's see if we can log in. Admin, admin. We should change that. We dismiss this guide. Make sure it's not secure. We know that already. Okay. The next thing we test is if our PF analytics. 1001 Cerebro is running. Cerebro is some kind of uh, Elasticsearch administrative tool to uh, delete indices to create index templates. Um, and we want to test if we can connect to Elasticsearch. So we can uh, connect to Elasticsearch 9200. This is the name of the service within the Docker stack. So it's always the same Elasticsearch uh, 9200. Okay, it's working, um, it's green, this is good, so Elasticsearch is answering queries and those are the indices that are currently running. Okay, um, we have to do some manual steps now. We have to make the initial index creation as in the documentation. index set we give it a reasonable name like pf sense firewall analytics um, pf sense firewall logs go here the index prefix we call we name it pf sense so it's always named pf sense underscore zero pf sense underscore one and so on analyzer standard is fine four shards fine zero replicas fine uh, except you want to live in a high Availability environment, uh, one segment, refresh interval, fine. We change the rotation strategy to be index time. Rotation period is one month. Um, and the retention strategy is index deletion. And we want to keep 12 indices. That means that we have the logs for one year. If we want two years, you set it to 24. Okay, here's created index, it should show up here, yes, uh, immediately, here we see it. Um, next step is that in the gray lock configuration we activate the geolocation processor, enable geolocation processor, city database is fine, path is fine. Can see that he has just loaded them uh, and we need to change this is crucial the message processor configuration order so we want the GOIP resolver to take place um, in the last step because um, the pipeline and the filter chain dissect the lock lines and only then it can uh, or we can um, see pure IP addresses or we can uh, distinguish IP addresses from lock message So the next step would be to um, download the content pack. We have a content pack in the repo. I prepared that for you. You could create all this manually. It basically includes all the proc uh, expressions we need. It, it includes the pipelines we need and the streams. Um, but to make it easier, I made a content pack from it can simply curl it somewhere or if you're on Windows and don't have curl or, or we get handy you say save page as um, take a temporary directory and call it pf analytics json that's fine it's already in there we replace it then we go to system configuration content packs we upload the content pack first 
disappear in the temp directory. Say upload and see if there is a new uh, entry PF Intel that contains all the pre configured stuff. Press install. You can double check um, what's being installed, it's all the drop patterns. Uh, it's the lookup adapters we need for Whois and CSV port translation, um, the caching mechanisms we want, uh, and the pipelines and the stream. Finally, we need to connect the input with uh, the index. Okay, it says it's installed. We can double check this uh, if we look into the streams. There is one stream called PFSense. The next manual thing we have to do, um, according to our um, documentation, is to assign the stream to the index we recently created. Then we go to more actions, edit stream, index set, set it to PFSense firewall analytics, keep this checked, say save, and you're good to go. Um, now we need to upload the index template for Elasticsearch. It is included in this Git repo. Um, choose PFSense custom template ES6JSON. Get it in your copy paste buffer, go to Cerebro, more index templates, create a new one, call it pfsense custom and paste the data. Okay, index template created. Um, So now we come to the next step, which might be a little bit confusing, not the only confusing step. Um, we need to recreate the index uh, to, ha to have the custom template applied to it. For this we need to selectively shut down the container with Greylock. We do this by saying docker compose stop Greylock. And in the overview, we see that here we can delete the index, confirm. And if we restart the container now, the index gets recreated and the, the custom template we, we installed for it gets applied to it. This is maybe there's a smarter way to do it, um, but once the index is re recreated, the uh, template is applied to it. I didn't find a quick solution. Uh, to do it without deleting it. Okay, uh, grey lock is starting. We can look at the locks. It should appear again. Yeah. Uh, now we see that grey lock has recreated the, uh, this index. Um, we wait until it's up again which is the case now, and see that we have our index here. Great. Next thing is that we need to configure PFSense. If we look at the documentation, did this on, configure, uh, yeah. Log into your PFSense. I will log into my PFSense. Go to status, system logs, go to settings, scroll to the bottom, check enable remote logging. As the source address, you probably always want to choose the LAN address. If you have another VLAN where you want to keep your logging machines or your logging system, choose the proper uh, interface there. IPv4 should be fine, IPv6 works as well. Um, enter the IP address of the remote logging server, or the, you could even enter the host name, but that doesn't really matter. I enter um, 
fnanalytics.home5442. This is the port we just um, entered at the input or which is configured for the input. And we take everything because um, what we don't need will be thrown away. Maybe in a later step you want to um, write extractors for all the other events as well. Um, so the easiest thing is just to keep it that way. Say save. And now you should see messages pouring in here. You already see here that we got a message counter per second. That is a good, uh, good sign. And voila, we see that we have the log data just coming into our Elasticsearch or into our gray log and stored into Elasticsearch. Um, the next step is to check if Grafana can connect to the data. PF Analytics 3000. This is admin, admin as well. You should change this. We don't do it for the demonstration. Um, we look into the dashboards and we have the firewall logs and we see it works perfectly. Um, it is all pre-configured. Uh, the uh, Grafana instance comes with uh, uh, auto-provisioning templates and auto-provisioning data source. Um, just look into the uh, into the Docker file. You can see it there. The second part is to get the DPI data from NTOP within um, PFSense. For this, we go to Diagnostics, NTOP NG, and we have usually admin admin. You. Go to, to this wheel, go to preferences, tap time series, and then you have to, for instance, enter your InfluxDB URL. This is currently my product, productive system. Uh, we will just enter PF Analytics or the IP address or anything of your Docker instance. Database and top ng is fine. Um, Is it fine? No, that should be NDPI. Sorry, NDPI like in the um, documentation. 365 days is a reasonable amount of time you want to keep the log data. You can increase it uh, according to this. The retention period with an influx to be set. Uh, you want to log the traffic. You want to log per protocol. Um, yeah everything according to this table. I already did it in my installation here so in the end you tap save. Uh, here you can already see so the network connection to the influx TV should have uh, been working fine already because it was able to initialize the database uh, NDPI and to see if we get data we go to the dpi dashboard uh, it can take uh, quite a while some seconds to minutes for the first data to appear here because i think and top sends it in 30 or 60 second batches uh, so pfsense uh, first has to accumulate some data or end top on pfsense first has to accumulate some data uh, so we will see it here That's uh, the first batch of data that just came in. Uh, the other panels will fill uh, over time. We don't have much data to look at at the moment. Uh, this will, uh, like I said, um, take a few minutes until you see some something more shiny. That's it.